السلام علیکم گڈ مارننگ لیڈیز اینڈ جینٹر مین آئی ایم تازیم انوا آئی ایو لانگ ایکسپیرینس ان کنٹرولنگ اینڈ اینالائزنگ فائنشیل اینڈ ٹیکنیکل انفو آف مور دین ون تھاؤزینڈ کمپنیز لسٹڈ آن دی جی سی سی کنٹری اسٹاک مارکیٹس ان ایڈیشن آئی ریٹرن ہنڈریڈس آرٹیکلس آن دی پرفارمنس آف ڈیفرینٹ اسٹاک مارکیٹس ان گلف ریجن اینڈ ناؤ آئی ایم سی او اینڈ کو فاؤنڈر ایٹ کیولیٹک ویلکم ٹو مائی پریزنٹیشن آن کوانٹیٹیو انویسٹمنٹ انالسز اینڈ مائی ویب سائٹ ایز ویل آئی ڈیوائڈیڈ مائی ٹاک ان ٹو فائیو پارٹس ان فرسٹ پارٹ I'll give brief intro of the topic quantitative investment analysis. In second part, I'll tell you about my website www.qlytic.com. In third part, I'll give brief intro of Qlytic's desktop platform QForecaster. The fourth part of my brief will embrace few relevant examples and finally will try out and practice the Q forecaster. My talk will take about 15 minutes. Right, let's start with the topic. Financial markets are very complicated places, uh, you know. There are many interwoven uh, variables uh, that can affect the prices of securities in an investment portfolio. These factors include macroeconomic factors, company-specific or fundamental factors, financial market variables, and then uh, behavioral variables. Considering all of these variables together at one time to determine the true value of a security can be an overwhelming task without some framework in which to analyze their impact. It is uh, simply not possible for the human mind alone, at least not mind, to be able to weigh the impact of each individual variable in a rigorous fashion within the human brain. This is where the quantitative investment analysis can help. The analysis focuses on some key tools that are needed for today's professional investors. Today, the best firms are run by those who carefully form investment hypotheses and test them rigorously in the marketplace. Their goal is to create investment processes that can be replicated with statistical liability. Right? Now we talk a little bit about the website www.qlytic.com The website uh, www.qlytic.com provides the basic tools of quantitative techniques that are not only essential for financial decision making but also applicable to all walks of life. The main uh, beneficiaries are analysts, econometricians, investors, financial institutions, or other organizations that have their own databases as well as the academic community. Qlytic introduces web-based tools of financial calculus uh, with uh, overviews on key concepts, examples, built-in real data, standard output with interpretation, and interactive charts that uh, reinforce the learning outcomes and exhibit the real-world applicability. Our tools cover a wide range of topics such as time value of money, measure of dispersion, hypothesis testing, uh, correlation, regression, and time series analysis especially. Why Qlytic is uh, distinguished from other websites is because of its following unique characteristics. First of all, a browser-based platform. Second, globally relevant. Third, unlike the other software packages, no technical description is uh, needed to understand these calculators 
because of their pre-classified and self-explanatory style. Fourth, most of the calculation methodologies uh, behind these calculators uh, match with those available in uh, Charter Financial Analysts Program Curriculum 2017. Hence, our tools are based on latest algorithms, are more authentic and in line with the ongoing industry practice analysis. And finally, our calculators are fit for any type of data, whether it is time series or cross-sectional or combination of both, I mean panel data. Right, let's move on to Q Forecaster. QForecaster is a Qlytics desktop platform for uh, professionals. Forecasting future successfully is a challenging task, you know. The most important is to understand the structure of your series or time series. But when modeling a large number of series, it is impractical to mainly identify, diagnose and build a customized forecasting model for each series. This is where the automatic forecasting capabilities of QForecaster can help. QForecaster gives a result with statistical validity taking into account appropriate models that are consistent, correctly specified and have strong predicting power. The Scenario Builder is an important uh, component of Q Forecaster, which is split into two stages, wherein the first stage relates to transformation of data. The next is Scenario Builder, which allows you to build different scenarios uh, by developing a relationship between variables Real scenarios in various industries are complex and require practitioners approach when modeling data. Q Forecaster is giving few such scenarios as default within the context of finance and investment. However, you can save steps and time by using default or your own save scenarios. Need is to match variables titles only. Just click the button load scenario and find a variety of scenarios. Our forecaster is compatible to all, particularly financial databases. This forecaster is an interesting product for uh, financial institutions as it will facilitate asset tracking and auto valuation processes for equities and other financial assets. Right? Let's uh, move on to example. The title is uh, Explaining Company Value Based on Return to Invested Capital. Some financial analysts have argued uh, that one good way to measure a company's uh, ability to create wealth is to compare its uh, return on invested capital ROIC with its uh, weighted average cost of capital, WACC. If a company has an ROIC greater than its cost of capital, the company is creating wealth. And if a company has an ROIC less than its cost of capital, the company is destroying wealth. Enterprise value. EV is a market price based measure of company and invested capital is an accounting measure of company. The higher ratios of enterprise value to invested capital should reflect greater success at wealth creation in general. Mabosin 1996 argued that the spread or the difference between ROIC and WACC helps explain the ratio of enterprise value to invested capital. Using cross-sectional hypothetical data on some US companies, we may test the relationship uh, between the ratio of enterprise value to invested capital and the spread between ROIC and WACC using the regression model given in equation this. 
our null hypothesis is uh, that the b1 or the slope coefficient is uh, less than or equal to 0 we may specify a level of significance such as 5% if we reject the null hypothesis we have evidence of a statistically significant relationship between the given variables right let's model this scenario in q forecaster first we connect to a database in this demonstration we connect to a sql server then we place a query to get data we may also input data manually however we build given scenario we turn last two series into percentage as needed next we build a relationship between variables we place a title we pass ROIC minus WACC as X or independent variable and enterprise value to invested capital as de dependent variable where EV is equal to market value of common equity plus market value of preferred equity plus market value of debt minus cash and short term investments and invested capital is equal to book value of common equity plus book value of preferred equity plus book value of debt okay so we get the final series to be modeled similarly we can model any complex scenario even using the raw form of data now under set values we set model inputs parameters values and inputs uh, for other tasks concerning to regression assumptions in our case the slope coefficient is less than or equal to zero so we select this calculate we find a process save option here and on clicking yes we can save scenario detail we can visualize the output or we get a, a print of the output okay here is the output statistical summary with the equation residual output probability output forecast output interpretation and scatter plot now under testing section here is the result of our t test since uh, the t stat is greater than the rejection point we reject the null hypothesis in favor of alternative hypothesis that the slope coefficient is greater than zero in other words we have evidence of a statistically significant relationship between the given variables now the question is can we accept this t-test as valid no until statistical assumptions underlying the regression model are satisfied here is the result of uh, each uh, assumption the assumption of heteroscedasticity is satisfied the least square assumption of no serial correlation in the errors is uh, inconclusive and assumption of uh, normality in the errors is violated we can also confirm this from autogenerator remarks the result uh, suggests that a linear regression model for the sample is not correctly specified it does not describe the data well if we need an unbiased forecast of future change in enterprise value to invested capital uh, we might not want to use these forecasts thanks to almighty creator that we are able to provide analytical tools that allow investment pros and others to analyze compete and succeed in today's global business and economic environment it concludes my talk thank you very much for your attention